So the full question was, what's the link between acid reflux, alcohol, caffeine, and um, when to eat your last meal and when to lay down? And those are great questions because everyone wants to kind of know if you have reflux symptoms, um, how not to have them because they're not pleasant, especially if they happen frequently or if they're severe. So when it comes to alcohol and the caffeine, um, there's two major ways that they can worsen your reflux. Number one is they can loosen the muscles in this area uh, between your stomach and your esophagus. The, that whole complex or apparatus is designed to work to keep it acid where it's supposed to be in your stomach instead of coming up into your esophagus. Uh, so if it loosens that area, then um, obviously it makes the risk higher. Now, that's not... It's a little more complex than that. It depends on the individual, depends on the amount you consume, depends on the product you consume, right? But that's kind of the general gist of it is that they can loosen those, those muscles. The other way that they can act is by increasing the actual acid production in your stomach and making it more acidic and more likely to have reflux. Um, but it depends, again, on the, those things that I mentioned. When it comes to your last meal, how much you eat when you eat when you lay down, it boils down to physics. So um, basically, people that have a higher risk of reflux, typically um, you'll see that they um, are either heavier in their midsection because there's more pressure going from your, your belly to your, to your chest, right? So that pressure gradient is, is, is increasing likelihood of acid, having acid reflux. But also if you think about what you eat and when you eat when you lay down, if your stomach is full of your last meal and you lay down an hour later and it still hasn't emptied out of your stomach yet, it's going to be pushing on that area and you're going to get reflux. So the idea is to not eat super heavy for other health reasons as well, but allow your stomach time to empty the gastric contents. And then when you lay down, you don't have a bunch of stuff sitting there that wants to push back up. So at the end of all this, I think it's really important to know these things so that you can be smart about your choices so you don't get reflux symptoms, so you don't have to take medication. You don't have to go see a specialist, um, but some people will still have to, right? You've done all of these things. You've watched what you eat, you watch when you eat, and you still have reflux. And in those cases, you do need to see a specialist because there, as you, if you watch my other videos, you'll notice that there are other things outside of our control that can cause reflux. So, but the vast majority of the population can learn this stuff and not have any problems. Um, and don't forget, if you have overweight or obesity, it's one of the biggest modifiable risk factors for having reflux. Lose some weight, your reflux can get better. Uh, comment, ask me questions, love to, 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 to answer them.